Welcome to Barnes Jewish Hospital at Washington University Medical Center. I'm Dr. Bennett Bain. And I'm Dr. Keith Fuster. On behalf of all of our transplant pharmacists at our hospital, we would like to congratulate you on your newly transplanted organ. Throughout the next several videos, we will be walking you through some of the medications that you will take after your transplant. Before we explain why you have to take these medicines after your transplant, it's important that you understand your immune system and rejection. The job of your immune system is to fight off foreign intruders or anything your body thinks isn't supposed to be there. After the transplant, your body will not know that your new transplanted organ is supposed to be there. It sees your new organ as an intruder and will try to attack it. This process of your body's immune system attacking your new organ is called rejection. We care about rejection since it can damage your new organ and cause it not to work as well or for not as long. We want to do everything we can to prevent this from happening. The only way to prevent rejection is with the medicines discussed in these videos. The medicines we use to prevent rejection are called immunosuppressants. They are also referred to as your anti-rejection medicines. They work to suppress the immune system to try to prevent it from attacking your newly transplanted organ. We often use a combination of many different medicines to prevent rejection because they each work on the immune system in different ways. That means each and every one of the medicines you'll take is equally important. The best thing you can do to prevent rejection and protect your new organ is to take your medicines exactly as instructed without missing doses. You will be on immunosuppressants or anti-rejection medicines for the rest of your life. Your transplant team works hard to customize your medicine to a specific dose that's right for you. As a result, your medicine doses may change very often. It's a good idea to write down your new dose and date every time your dose changes, preferably on the medicine list your transplant team gives you. If the instructions on the medicine bottles are different than what your transplant team told you. Always go by the directions from your transplant team. Bring your medicine list with you to all of your doctor's visits or if you come to the hospital. Pill boxes are a great way to keep you on track with your medicines. Not only are they good reminders for you to take your medicine, but they can also help remind you to refill them before you run out. Always use your medicine list as a guide when filling your pill box to make sure you're filling it correctly. Keep in mind, if your medicine doses are changed after you set up your pill box, you'll have to go back through your pill box to correct the doses for the rest of the week. It's important to never skip or miss medicine doses unless specifically instructed by your transplant team. Missing doses of your immunosuppressants can make them less effective at preventing rejection. Your team will give you guidance on what to do if you accidentally miss a dose of medicine. It's a good idea to request refills from your pharmacy at least a week in advance so you don't run out of any of your medicine. Some pharmacies and insurance companies prefer to use generic forms of medicines. We're okay with using any brand or any generic medicine. However, if your medicine ever looks different than what you're used to, it's a good idea to call your pharmacy to make sure it's filled with the right medication. Store your medicine in a cool, dry place away from the sun, heat, or moisture. For these reasons, avoid storing your medicines in the bathroom, where it gets humid, near the stove, where it gets hot, or in the car, where temperature fluctuates. Keep medicine out of reach of children and pets. We will let you know if your medicine has any additional storage requirements. Many medicines can interact with your transplant medicines, which can harm you or your new organ. Before you take any medicine, first check with your transplant team to make sure they're safe for you. This includes all prescription medicine, over-the-counter medicine, and dietary supplements. We also recommend you avoid all herbal products. There is only one over-the-counter pain medicine that's safe for you to take. That is Tylenol also known as acetaminophen. All over-the-counter pain medications that belong to the group of medicines called NSAIDs should be avoided because they can cause or worsen kidney problems, can be hard on the stomach, and can also increase the risk of bleeding. The over-the-counter NSAIDs you should never take 
include ibuprofen, which also goes by the brand names Advil and Motrin, as well as naproxen, or its brand name Aleve. Read labels carefully to make sure you also avoid any combination products containing these medicines. There are a few fruits and their juices you should never eat or drink after you transplant as they interact with the medicine used to prevent rejection. This can lead to severe side effects that can take a while to go away. These fruits include grapefruit, pomegranate, and starfruit. Read labels carefully to make sure mixed juices don't contain these fruits. All other fruits are generally safe to eat and or drink.